wise man once said, the will to win, the desire to succeed. What takes guts is to put yourself on the line. The urge to reach your full potential. A leader makes the way. These are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. Success Resources is the world's leading events promoter of business, personal development, and wealth creation programs. For over 30 years, we've helped over 10 million people across 30 countries unlock their full potential. From North America, to Europe, to Africa, to Asia, to Oceania, we are the key to your personal success. We open the door to the world's best speakers, such as Anthony Robbins, Sir Richard Branson, Robert Kiyosaki, and T. Harv Eker, to name a few. Praised by Donald Trump for being the world's best, we have over 500 events a year and access to the greatest thinkers, achievers, and motivators of our time. We guide you to the success that lies in every one of us. But you will not discover your greatness in your comfort zone. You have to have confidence in yourself. We have never really truly reached our destination. There's always another level to strive for. Your best is yet to come. Success Resources, your learning partners. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Friday. Friday is my second favorite F word. <laughs> the first is food, definitely food. Okay. Now, we believe that Bitcoin is the best financial instrument for store of financial energy and the best tools for preserving financial wealth. Secret to success is to wake up early, work hard, and own Bitcoin. Welcome to Bitcoin Journey to. 100,000. My name is Richard Tan from Success Resources. We are the world leading education provider every week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This is streamed live on Facebook and YouTube. We make videos tracking the incredible journey of Bitcoin to 100,000. So if this is the journey you like to learn and follow us to, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Gently tap the thumbs up button real quick and forward the, this information to your friend too, right? And of course, click the notification bell so that whenever we do a video, you are the first to know. Now, I want to, uh, I'm very delighted to bring a very, very, very vibrant friend of mine, Dr. Kremen Chan, to the program. He is so contagious, contagious because of his energy. He's an authority in financial investing and also a very well-known teacher to many thousands and thousands and thousands of students all over the world in the art of wealth creation. Now, fasten your seatbelt and welcome Dr. Kremen Chang. Wow, thank you Richard so much for the warm welcome and TGIF, thank God it's Friday. We are looking forward to the weekend. And guess what? Today we got a mind-blowing news coming up again. <laughs> yes. So much things to share. And let's kick off this journey together with all our audience live streaming right now. Thank you so much, Richard. Thank you, thank you. Now, today is episode 3 of our journey to track Bitcoin to 100,000. Uh, this is incredible, right? To, to have Bitcoin all the way to 100,000. It is a supply and demand thing. Now, this can only happen when there is more adoption and confidence to Bitcoin. On Wednesday, you mentioned about the, what the, uh, uh, the giant company, Google. Google is in already, right? Now, let's start also with other things, like the mayor of Miami is getting his salary in Bitcoin. Can you imagine that? He's getting his salary in Bitcoin. Question to you, Dr. Kramer, is that what can you say about this? Wow, that's a great start to a wonderful, wonderful question because we are talking about politicians right now. And you know, when we get to the level of the politicians, it's going to be widespread. The network effects is going to be so huge because the politician can activate and mobilize his grassroots uh, support. So let's zoom in to take a look at this uh, article that Richard has just raised to me. And that is Miami's mayor to become the first 
US politician to take his salary in Bitcoin. So there are three steps uh, surrounding this announcement. I think this is the part that I think is really, really important. First, you need to have an official announcement that somebody who's politically inc- uh, uh, leaning they decides to announce to the whole world, I'm going to take my pay in Bitcoin. So I'm going to zoom into the salient part right here. And that is right here. You see, you know, one of the biggest uh, mobilizer or grassroots mobilizer is this guy called Anthony Pompello, Pompano right here, who asks, who is going to be the first American politician to accept their salary in Bitcoin? And here we go. We have Mayor Francis Suarez responding that I'm going to take my next paycheck 100% in Bitcoin. Problem solved. But can you help? <laughs> okay, so step one, he triggered off, he announced to the world, I want to be the first uh, American politician to take my salary in Bitcoin. But the step two is, how do you operationalize the logistics behind paying a politician in Bitcoin? So he kind of, uh, you know, quoted Sarasti, and Sarasti is the guy heading the tech development, all right? So looks like this is uh, getting really, really exciting because right over here, the 44 years old Suresh, the politician, will be the first official politician to receive in Bitcoin. And in tech, Mike Sarasti, the city's director of innovation and tech, who's supposed to help in the initiative. So I suppose as step two behind the scene, what needs to happen is this. Mike will have to take the actual US dollars, go to a crypto exchange, buy the actual Bitcoin on the day of the conversion, and send the Bitcoin as step three to the wallet of the politician, and that is Mayor Francis Suarez. Now, this is really, really exciting. We, this is what we call a top-down leadership approach. And when he does that, I suppose the next big thing that he's going to announce is probably every civil servant, the government officials, will likewise be like him. Once he kind of uh, able to prove uh, the operationalization of this entire process. So why is the city of Miami taking the lead? They have a they held a general mayoral uh, election on November 2, uh, just very recent, about a few days ago only, as a runoff election is scheduled for November 16. And, you know, we, when we talk about 2nd of November, spreading to November 16, these days, every single day count. And I've highlighted in our previous two videos that November is a super critical, super sensitive period for the world of Bitcoin, all right? Now, Francis is kind of affiliated with the Republican Party, won 78.7% of the votes. This is a super popular guy. Win the votes, all right? Now, with this, then the, in the same article, it says right over here, Bitcoin has only one way to go up. <laughs> So we kind of a link from the politician and kind of a move it down to talk about Bitcoin. And this is really what I like about this particular article. Because why? There is currently a wave of countries in Central America, South America, and even in Africa as a base currency. And that could revolutionize the utility of Bitcoin. So... Everybody, we got to really take it of this. The moment the politician kind of kick in into the entire network effects, the network externalities will be so contagious, or what we call contagion, it's going to spread globally. So we are really in a nice sweet spot today in the month of November. And here we are, we're going to move all the way to December. We're going to fulfill everything that we're going to say right here in this very interesting YouTube channel. We are heading for hundred thousand dollars. Back to you, Richard. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kremen. Thank you, Dr. Kremen. Now, well, if mayor, mayor is like the minister or in Singapore is our uh, 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 top government official in our constituency. So if he is taking his pay in Bitcoin, he says so much confident uh, in Bitcoin. 
I think I'm, I'm very happy to, to, to know about this news. Now, over the last one week, you know, the Bitcoin price has been consolidating between 62 to 63 range. Now, just now the news about uh, uh, Mayor of Miami, you know, one thing he's paid in Bitcoin. So we also hear a lot of institution and regulatory talk about Bitcoin, you know, post the launch of Bitcoin future ETF, especially in America. Now, there is just one article uh, that says that the wheel, you know, the wheel are preparing for the bull run. Now, question to you is this, uh, why is this article saying that the wheel is uh, preparing for bull run? And uh, can you help us understand the technical behind this? Because, you know, if the wheel are preparing for bull run, then we all better be ready also, you know, and, and, and you know, and, and also benefit from this trend. Wow, that's a really, really amazing, amazing question because it's kind of linked to the previous article. We are still in the world of politicians, Richard, because right over here, it is telling us that, hey, BTC wills prepare for the mega bull run, comma, US congressman back spot Bitcoin ETF. This is the theme that we have been pursuing right now for this November all the way to December. And you know that these are kind of a, getting really squeezed up right now. The earliest Bitcoin spot fiscal ETF will be announced on 14th of November. I mean, I'm looking at this kind of feeling really, really tense right now, building up the adrenaline. And that's the reason why when we kind of look at this really interesting article, first, there are two things to look at. First of all, it's about the illiquid supply of Bitcoin has touched a record high of 14.52 million. So we're going to kind of zoom into this chart right here. All right. So first of all, we're going to take note of this color right here, which is in light blue. It stands for BTC Bitcoin illiquid supply. And then we kind of move this right over here. We are looking at 14.5. What is the meaning of 14.5? And we move out right here. It's 14.5 million Bitcoins refuse to move. Now, the refusal to move Bitcoin means that everybody is hodling right now. Hang on for dear life. And we know that at 14.52 million, what is the real comparison we are really comparing against? We are comparing against the fixed supply of 21 million Bitcoins. And at 14.52, everybody didn't want to move. What is the remaining liquid Bitcoin that's left? Right? We're talking about about 5 million Bitcoins that's out there. And that's the reason why this is so compelling as a price target. And as I kind of, kind of move down right over here, again, the report further notes that will addresses with over 1,000 BTC are holding the highest supply in the entire 2021. And that's the pure definition of will. If your wallet today is sitting more than a thousand coins, you are defined as a will. Anything less than that, we call it like a stream or a lobster. lobster. <laughs> in Asia, we call, we call it ikan bili. <laughs> we go through the different pedigrees of fishes, and but the highest one is still the blue will. One thousand Bitcoin in your wallet. And again, we are talking about what? The highest supply in the entire 2021. Look at this crazy, crazy chart, all right? And if we kind of continue to push on this thesis, and here we go. This is the important paragraph that we kind of uh, want to highlight to all of our audience. As you can see in the above chart, wheels are holding 100. 85,000 Bitcoin earlier in February, but so during the May period, it kind of a crash. And when Bitcoin was around its all time high levels. And then during the last year of October, the big BTC wheels added a staggering 142,000 Bitcoin, taking the total holdings to above 200,000. Now, when we say like the last week of October, what do we fiscal, fiscally mean by the last week of October? So right now, I'm going to kind of switch over to the charts right here. And we're going to really dive in to understand how are they accumulating Bitcoin at what kind of pricing, all right? I think this is really, really the key question right here. So let's switch over right here. This is the month of October. I'm going to kind of pan it out for all of you guys here. 
and then reach out to here. And if I start from this region, ding, ladies and gentlemen, this is the mama last week of the month of October. And averagely, everybody buying at what price? Holy moly, $60,000 or above. One more time, $60,000 or above, I cut the candles right up here. You can see all these candles are floating above my $60,000 line. That kind of a set a price target, what we call price support. At a $60,000 price support, there's no more turning back because in the history of Bitcoin, right after the second Bitcoin halving in 2016, the following year, 2017, when we look at the month of November and December, it is on a 45 degree flight chart. It has never dipped down. The lowest down in the entire two months, November, December, that is 12th of November, 2017. So we kind of, soak in, take a step back, soak in these numbers, and then you begin to understand, oh my gosh, looks like 60000 is the floor price. And if we kind of push it further, holy moly, right over here, we are already talking about Bitcoin, uh, over 1 million active addresses, interactive on the big BTC network. Five straight days of that happening. Now, this was post-tweeted on the 4th of November. Right now, I'm going to combine this idea right now with the next article, and that is why are the politicians involved? Why are the politicians involved? Because right now, the politicians are taking the lead from their grassroots members, going up to them, complaining. I mean, <laughs> complain is not unique to Asia, even the Americans love to complain, right? And they are going through the congressman, Emma. Soto, both of them, two politicians, they want SEC to be accountable, to respond to this question. Why you go out there and prove a Bitcoin futures ETF, and then you are dragging your feet on the most important Bitcoin spot ETF that will protect investors across the planet. Why are you reversing the sequence? Because if you truly want to protect and safeguard the interests of the retail investors, Step one, you should actually approve Bitcoin spot ETF. So here's the argument that's being laid out right here. Really getting really, really interesting right here. So please bear with me. <laughs> the representatives, let, let them be known in the history of cryptocurrency, Tom Emmer, as well as Darren Soto, all right? Two of the most active leaders of the Congressional Blockchain Caucus. Today, send a letter to Chairman Gary Gensler on the issue on every crypto investor's mind. Why don't we have a Bitcoin spot ETF? Now they lay out the argument and the argument is really, really sound. And I think they kind of caught Chairman Gensler into a corner. All right, here we go. Ready? And this is a really, really great fun. We question why. If you are comfortable aligning trading in an ETF based on derivative contracts, now, by the way, my friends, derivative con contracts are much more complicated than the actual underlying instrument. Now, I mean, I'm using some really big jargons right here, but just give you a sense of it. For example, if you want to buy a stock of a public company, we just go and buy the number of shares or number of stocks of the public company. And then subsequently in 1973, they invented this idea of options trading which is a much more complex idea. So complex, options trading received a Nobel Prize for <laughs> economics. Wow. Right? So I want you all to know, the moment is being mentioned derivative contracts is a much more complex idea, which ordinary men, majority of ordinary men out there cannot accept and reconcile. So let me continue reading right here. You are not equally or more comfortable aligning trading to co commence in T ETS based on spot Bitcoin. The congressman wrote, Bitcoin spot ETFs are based directly on the asset, which inherently provides more protection for investors. This is a no-brainer. I mean, it's like, if you are talking about buying the shares of Facebook, Google, or Alibaba, 
I mean, you're telling people, I'm going to launch a futures of the shares of Facebook instead of letting you buy the direct stock or the shares of the company. This is mind-boggling. This is the same argument put forth right here. Why is Gary Gensler not supporting Bitcoin Spot ETF as the step number one? So when I kind of push this argument right across here, I mean, they started, you know, quoting, oh my gosh, the 40 Act provides significant investor protection. I mean, you guys can go and read all about this, but this is the one that sums up the best. The congressman insists that they are not taking sides. They just aren't buying Gensler's argument that derivatives are safer, which is fundamentally sound and correct. Derivatives are much more complex. They concluded that unless there are clear and demonstrable investor protection advantages, investors who have a choice over which product is most suitable for them and their investment objectives. So, you know, Richard, can I kind of rest my case on this? You know, everybody right now spotlight on Chairman Gary Gensler. But I think I want to share a little bit of what, what's going on behind the scene. Because he's throwing the ball of court over to the CFTC, Commodity Futures Trading Commission, while he's the chairman of Securities Exchange Commission. He was kind of a testing the, the, the waters. He was also going back to Congress and asked for more power, more money to run the show. So I think... Unfortunately, I think honestly, this is a political game about who wanting more power, to have more coverage, to have more influence. And we, the retail investors, are caught deal in the headlight. We go, duh, how the hell you approve a Bitcoin futures ETF and you didn't approve a Bitcoin spot ETF yet. So the pressure is on, Richard. We are counting down. 14th of November, back to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kremen, for uh, the in-depth uh, clarification. Now, for all of you who are here in this program here, a spot US ETF, Bitcoin ETF, will drive the price of Bitcoin to 100,000 and beyond. Okay, two, three, 400,000. Because there is a big market for it and big demand for it and it will drive the demand, right? And hence, bring the price. There's no brainer for Bitcoin to journey to 100,000 and beyond if we have this ETF. So Dr. Kremen has explained all this and uh, we hope that Dr. Uh, this uh, Gary Ginster uh, do take the advice and approve the spot ETF. And, and then, then our job is done, almost. <laughs> okay, so now uh, Dr. Kremen, on, on, on Wednesday, you say that uh, you are going to... Uh, uh, share with us how you can help every one of us go through this journey. Now, I'm, I'm going to leave that to the to the end, you know, so you can help us on that. Now, I want to the next question I want to ask you is this: that a lot of investor they invest in Bitcoin because US is printing money, right? So as an investment hedge, to everybody, many people go buy Bitcoin and hence, uh, and hence, uh, you know, support the Bitcoin price. Now, just a day ago, the U.S. Federal Reserve announced plan to taper down its uh, 120 billion a month bond purchase back. Now they are taking step toward winding down post COVID-19 money printing program that has inspired many investors to buy Bitcoin as a hedge. Now, question to you is this: Do you see this as a cost? to slow down the journey of Bitcoin to 100,000? Well, that's a great question, Richard, because we are trying to connect three different concepts and uh, kind of a hybrid them together. And, and this is really a good for discussion for everybody to understand. The first keyword that if we chase the root of all this, you know, Fed Chair, Janet Yellen, Jerome Powell, Gary Gensler, what the heck they are trying to do I just want to bless all of you with one word. I think this is the word that once we think about it, it kind of will free up our mind to really dig deeper into the issue at hand. And the word I want to share with all of you goes this way. This is called the word called supply. I want everybody right now, you know, you're watching live stream, kind of write down supply, S-U-P-P-L-Y, 
onto your secret little black book. Because once we start thinking on the uh, concept of supply, everything becomes very, very clear. Now, how do we expound on this concept? Step one, we have been preaching about the fact that Bitcoin has a fixed supply of 21 million. 21 million based on 10 decimal places. But you know, if you just think about everybody just buy one Bitcoin, there can only be 21 million human beings each owning a Bitcoin. But what's the total population on planet Earth? 7 billion to be exact. <laughs> so if you are thinking about everybody kind of chase for one Bitcoin, 7 billion will stampede on the, on, on the 21 million that is holding it. And the 21 individuals who are holding each one Bitcoin, I mean, they can call any price they want to sell it. That is the basis of basic economy law of demand and supply. All right? So we fix the, 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 the thinking behind Bitcoin first, 21 million fixed supply. Now we go to second number two concept. What is the second number two concept? And that is about Fed trying to taper. Taper means reduce. Uh, reduce, shorten, or minimize. And this is the paragraph that says it all. All right, here we go. The 120 billion of money bond purchases, which, how do you purchase bond? First, you print a lot of money. And you know, I start off by explaining to you the concept of supply. There's unlimited supply of the actual US dollars today. That is driving Wall Street nuts. How do you keep printing money? You cannot keep doing that. As a result, they put on pressure. And in fact, Bill Edmund recently came out this way and say, you have to raise interest rates right now. That is why things are get getting so expensive at this moment. You've got to raise interest rates. So let's continue here. Provided tailwind for Bitcoin is investors see the cryptocurrency as a hedge against dollar debasement in the face of ultra loose monetary policy. Ultra loose means you just keep printing money. So the takeaway is this. People will just keep going out there to buy Bitcoin as a hedge against inflation. This is the one that we are really, really going for. All right. This is the one that we are really going for. Now, from this point in time, how do we combine fixed supply of Bitcoin, unlimited supply of US dollar with the reduction of, uh, of with a tapering of the bond purchase to the final concept? And the final concept is right here. We are talking about right over here, Bitcoin price prediction. Ready? Here we go. I'm going to link this red box right here. And I want you all to really uh, dive in to look at it. The asset purchase, a form of stimulus funded by newly created money known as quantitative, quantitative easing, was actually started by President Barack Obama in the year 2009. Have helped to more than double the size of the Fed balance sheet since March 2020 to about $8.6 trillion as of last week. So when you think about this QE, so much money flooding into the marketplace, and then we start thinking about the price prediction of Bitcoin. Here we go. We are right now close to an interest rate of 0%. There's a big, big rally right out there in the marketplace asking the Jerome Power, please raise the interest rate right now, right? Because it's getting out of control. And when they kind of push it down right here, as of press time, even right now, we are close to about $62,000 per coin. And then you have this guy right here telling everybody in the near-term, short-term prediction, holy moly, we are looking at at least 80000 per coin. Ready? Here we go. Concept number three. On one hand, tightened monetary policy may lead to less rapid growth of Bitcoin demand, as many use it to hash inflation. And less QE in theory means less inflation. Said Joe, CEO of the cryptocurrency hash fund Bitboo Capital. On the other hand, the effects of the largest QE in history may lead to the largest inflation in history, regardless of the Fed attempting to scale back. Now, scale back means tapering. If this happens, we expect demand and prices for Bitcoin to rise to uh, new all-time highs. How high is high? 
80,000 by the end of 2021. Now, let me tell you, he's really just being conservative. <laughs> Everybody expecting Bitcoin to break $100,000 this year. So we combine these two ideas and the overarching is the flooding of money into the marketplace. So much money that people do not know what to do. They end up chasing after the most exciting asset class of today, and that's none other than Bitcoin. So, I mean, this is the whole thing about very, very, I mean, very complicated financial terms for ordinary people try to understand what is it going about. And let me sum it up for you. Think about supply. Supply is fixed for Bitcoin. Think about supply. Supply is unlimited for the US dollar. You've got two opposing forces right here. And then final part, the market is right now flooded with money. Started from quantitative easing, 2008, Barack Obama started that, all the way until right now from Donald Trump and to Joe Biden. And we are going to pass an infrastructure bill that's more than a trillion dollars. That's so much money. And all this money in the marketplace will only do one thing, to chase and push Bitcoin to a much higher plane. We are looking at $100,000. Back to you, Richard. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Kamen. Well, we in Singapore felt this effect uh, on us, right? Even we are a small country and so far away, we felt the effect because next month, the, the, the bus fare and the train in Singapore, the, the fee is going to go up. Right? So that is definitely due to the US printing money and then it kind of filtered down to many of us. And uh, thank you, Dr. Clement, for for deciphering uh, this, this issue. Now, the, the price of movement of cryptocurrency move whenever there's a news of upgrade of the blockchain architecture of the particular coin. Uh, recently, you know, there is this example, you know, Ethereum upgrade to Ethereum 2.0. This moved the Ethereum price to all-time high. Now, Bitcoin has also, is going to also have an upgrade now it's called the tap root upgrade. The analysts expect Bitcoin price to hit all time high ahead of the tap root upgrade. Now, question to you, Dr. Kramer, is this can you assist to explain what actually is this tap root upgrade and when this is going to happen? Because you know, this is analyst says that uh, Bitcoin will go to all time high just before the upgrade. Wow, this is a very great technical question and we are talking about really at the coding level and I want to kind of shift straight away to take a look at this article right here. Now, when we talk about any software upgrade, all right, I mean, we are also running a fintech company. We got a huge amount of backlogs and we also have our software upgrade to look after, after. First thing on the mind when you think about upgrade is a date. There must be a date. So everybody kind of know, okay, on this day, the system down, the system upgrade, everybody chill, relax, don't panic. We already warn you. So what is this date for Taproot? Step one, bam, 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 bam. We go right here. The upgrade is set to go live on November 16. Oh my God. So many things happening right now. <laughs> First, we have a child of November where we expect this is the lowest price in the two months of November and December. We have 14 of November, whereby we expect the first Bitcoin spot ETF to be approved by SEC. And then we have a 16 of November, we have an upgrade that's going on live for Taproot. Mama! <laughs> I mean, it's non-stop action. That's the reason why we keep sharing with all of you audience. We are really squeezed right now, squeeze, time squeeze, because this is your final opportunity. And here we go. Step one, analysts affirm that on-chain activity on, in Bitcoin is expected to rise, pushing Bitcoin price higher. So this is the consequence of an upgrade by Taproot, all right? So right over here, why do we need, even need to upgrade a, a Bitcoin network? Here we go. Tablet activation and upgrade that promises to expand Bitcoin smart contract flexibility. 
And, you know, smart contract is kind of always been originally linked to Ethereum. And, and we use it, Ethereum because they are building smart contracts. We can do a lot of fanciful things right there, passing instructions to the smart contract. And enhanced privacy on a Bitcoin network as well was confirmed in June 2021 after getting 90% support from qualified blocks mine over two weeks. The upgrade is set to go live on 16th of November. So we are talking about security, we are talking about privacy, but really what everybody is really, really interested about, <laughs> because I mean, most of you are really not getting involved, I mean, rolling up your sleeve, getting involved in blockchain projects, all right? And that's really, really hard work out there. But if you are just talking about it as an asset class, then this article will kind of inspire you to think very clearly right up here. Dun, 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 dun. All right, where are the big numbers? Analysts have noted uncertainty in Bitcoin price trend and have predicted it may last until the end of November. Again, we keep highlighting to you guys, November, December is mind-boggling, right? And the good news, according to Alex, believes that the tablet upgrade is certainly not priced in Bitcoin yet. And he kind of uh, justified in this statement, right? Because look at the tweet, it's 27 of October. And I flip back to the charts, 27 of October. Yep, he is right smack right here. It has been going sideways, not priced in yet. So when you read something as not being priced in yet, the question you should ask yourself is, do you want to get in before it spikes? Do you want to get in before it spikes? Because the moment it spikes, it goes, whoop, it goes up like that. So you want to get in before anything happens. And I think, you know, Richard and every one of you are kind of watching right now, the magical date is 12th of November. <laughs> so, I mean, we kind of... Uh, complete this segment of Taproot, it, it just built up all, all my conviction that 12th of November is the key date for us to lock in this window. Back to you, Richard. <laughs> okay, thank you, Dr. Clement. So there's lots of things happening in, uh, in November. Number one, Plan B mentioned that Bitcoin, according to Plan B prediction, Bitcoin is going to hit 98,000 before it will go to uh, 135 in December. Also in November, this tap group uh, upgrade that analysts say that will, will, will cause a spike in Bitcoin price. Also in November, historically in 2017, November 12, you know, Bitcoin will go up and then it will come down again. So there is lots of things happening and that, that can cause many people to get distracted, even though uh, November is amazing, amazing months. An amazing opportunity, but lots of people can get distracted. So, Dr. Kramer, you mentioned that, uh, you know, my, my question to you is, is there anything that you, you have that can support and help every one of us through this amazing opportunity? I, I understand you have a program that kind of almost handhold and uh, put a handrail so that everybody can be focused and then we can success through this journey together. Can you explain to us what is that and how can we get involved? Oh, yes, uh, Richard, absolutely. You know, I, I'm going to jump to a few places right now because I mean, I think everyone who is listening right now, you can feel that ad adrenaline is really building up and we are sitting there scratching your head, not knowing what to do. Now, let me give you some pointers first. First of all, you know, we have quoted Plan B several times, and I think this is a fair quote because so far all of their prediction has come true. I think if everybody believes in what Plan B is talking about, it is a self-fulfilling prophecy, all right? So this was a much earlier post uh, by Plan B, a, a tweet, but you know the beauty of history, we can come back and check the veracity of his prediction. So here we go. Step one. August, was Bitcoin trading above $47,000? Yes. And we say pass. So we say pass. September, more than $43,000. Pass. October, more than $63,000. Pass. Now, the remaining two months, <laughs> this is the mama moment. What are the remaining two months? Why everybody is following plan B prediction?
above 98,000. And as according to Richard, once we hit 100,000, that's it. That's the end of our YouTube channel. <laughs> December, we're going to hit 135,000. Now, what is the basis for that? So what I've done is to prepare our community. You know, I, I think of the Battle of the 300, the great movie. And this is really founded on, I mean, 300 is really a magical number. And we can even go through uh, various journal papers. They always talk about 300. Because I'm looking for the most committed, most highest conviction of every one of you out there watching the video today. And you say, Yes, teacher, I want to get in. I want to be serious. Then you are qualified to be one of my 300 warriors. And if you say yes, this is exactly what we're going to do. Here we go. We really kind of started our day one, whereby you, are, you must start off with a crypto uh, a, account. And if your account is not open, you're really sitting out there just waiting for ducks to swim by you, all right? They do, our, our warriors really kind of do a wire transfer, right? If you don't fund your crypto account with money, how are you going to start buying Bitcoin? <laughs> and day three, day four, day five, this is huge. We really spend time to study not just any hearsay out there. We really st st spend time to study three banks. Number one, Citibank. What is Citibank saying about Bitcoin? Because... They have so many high net worth individual customers within the foray of Citibank. And they are telling everybody, Bitcoin is going to hit $318,000 per coin by end of 2021. Now you want to read this report right here. Number two, DBS Bank, the number one bank in the world. Now, why are they also getting into cryptocurrency and telling their customers, please look at Bitcoin? Number three, Standard Charter Bank. They are not only predicting price of Bitcoin, they're also predicting the price of Ethereum. And mama, these prices are big price prediction. I'm not going to tell you because you're not my warrior yet. <laughs> and of course, day number six, they got to watch the third Bitcoin halving 2020, where I traded about quarter million dollars together with all my students. Six hours. And every hour, we're going $50,000, 50000 pom, 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 five times quarter million, that's it, snap up all the Bitcoins back then. And we have been seeing green ever since until right now. Number seven, Bitcoin go 2.0. And you know, all these are the important triggers so that you are mentally prepared for the battle ahead. It's not going to be smooth sailing. There'll be blood, sweat, and tears. According to the movie, we're going to chop off hands, chop off legs, and chop off heads. <laughs> if you are not ready for that, sorry. These are all the important timings that we need to understand the candles of Bitcoin. And we are not just looking at 100,000. We are looking at 300,000, 500,000, 1 million, 2 million, to 100 trillion marketplace for Bitcoin. Day number eight. This is our kind of a hero of the day because he's anchoring 100 and 14,000 Bitcoins. He got another billion dollar cash ready on standby to buy, buy more Bitcoin. And then number nine, we're going to master this song. We got to have a war cry song, all right? And I mean, you are really sounding the horn. Oh, and we're entering the battlefield. And then day number 10, your last chance to introduce yourself to each other before you see each other up again in heaven. <laughs> day number 11, one day before, the 12th of November, you're going to have one rest day, your r, r And finally, day 12, I'll be putting in $1 million to do live trading. So as you can see, we are really kind of gathered, ready, ready for the battle. But if you say right now, hey, you know, Commander-in-Chief, I'm ready to join the battle. You have one very small window left right now, and that is this. You can quickly go and scan this QR code, and our panelists will put out the link onto the Zoom chat you can go and visit spiking.com forward slash SR. And I'm very, very selective which are the, who are the warriors that are joining us because in the heat of the battle, you cannot be asking your commander-in-chief, hey, where do I click to get this button? Oh my God, I'm going to kick your ass. You must come to the battle ready. And what is the date of the battle? 12th of November. 
You know, today the whole sharing is about 12 November, 14 November, 16 November. It's my blogging. You are, I'm sure you're swamped right now because this is something very, very new to you. But we have been preparing for this battle for the longest time. I honestly believe that this is the final battle, the last chance for any retail guys out there to participate in this asset class that's going to swamp the world. So my friends, this is the call to battle. The link is spiking.com forward slash SR. If you have your phone with you, just go and take a picture of the QR code. And you know what? If you say you're ready, join us in this movement because our movement is to rally the entire community until the day it goes to $100,000 per coin. Back to you, Richard. <laughs> thank you, thank you, doc, doc, thank you, Dr. Clement. So it's very important for us to be in the right community. Just like many um, people, they, they set certain goals, but along the way, they just get distracted. So we have a very short time, and uh, I just want to uh, encourage you all to join this community so as to really focus right, and, and capitalize on this amazing opportunity uh, to walk this journey that Bitcoin is going to go to $100,000. So the secret to success is wake up early, work hard, and own Bitcoin. And what better way to do that than to join a community to walk this journey to uh, uh, witness and to join this journey that Bitcoin is going to go up to 100000 So thank you very much. So the link is there. Uh, join the link and then join us in this community. And this is Richard Tan. I want to wish you a wonderful, 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 wonderful weekend ahead. Thank you so much. We believe that investing in our education has the highest leverage and is the greatest equalizer. Regardless of background, everyone can have the same opportunities in education. We believe in doing what is right, not what is easy. We believe in anything that is worth doing, we do it with passion and excellence. We believe that happiness is the key to success. If you love what you're doing, you're already successful. And that both success and failure are temporary, worth sharing about and even celebrating. That said, we believe we have had our fair share of both. Yay! We believe that when the market is tough, we can be tougher. We believe the best product should win, not the best sales pitch. We believe that winners are winners because they don't quit. We believe that the biggest sin is to make learning boring. We believe in making decisions and owning our results. We believe in innovation to continually provide value to all around us. We believe that together, everyone achieves more. We believe that real leaders don't create followers, they create more leaders. We believe that we can learn from our competitors. We believe that women work harder, do better, and are more competent. We believe it's okay to be proven wrong. It's okay to change your mind. And it's okay to cry when you're having a really rough day. We believe in giving everyone the benefit of the doubt. We believe in always saying please and thank you. We believe that if dreaming is free, then we should dream big and then working hard to achieve it. We believe that if we have knowledge, it's our duty to pass it down. We believe that we shouldn't teach something we ourselves don't believe in. We believe it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. We believe in saying sorry and meaning what we say. We believe in being high-tech means adding a human touch. We believe that no one has all the answers. Not even us. But we go find out and we learn. We believe that learning never ends and once you stop learning, you start dying. We believe that one person or one great idea can change the world. That's why we believe in helping you grow and succeed. And with your help, we can change lives globally. We believe we believe. We, we believe. believe. We believe. Thank you for your belief in us. 